Hans. Bubby. I'm your white knight. Welcome to the party, pal. It's time for my favorite Christmas movie. Yes, this is a Christmas movie. Fight me. I'm very opinionated about it, okay? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Die Hard. Yes, I'm so excited. Die Hard, yeah. <laughs> We're very excited in this house. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into my favorite Christmas movie. And that is Die Hard. Last year, I really wanted to react to this movie. I'd already seen it, of course, as you can tell. This is not a first time watching reaction. I have seen this movie before. It has been quite a while since I've seen it, though, so I'm really excited to revisit it today. I wanted to watch this last year, but I put it in a poll over on Patreon up against Lethal Weapon. And because I hadn't seen Lethal Weapon yet, Lethal Weapon won. And, um... <laughs> If you've seen that video, you know I'm not a big fan of that movie. No offense to anyone who loves it, but it just was not my cup of tea. I think, to be honest, I was probably comparing it a little bit to Die Hard in my head, and I don't think anything can hold a candle to this movie. This might be my favorite action movie of all time. I don't know if that's a bold statement <laughs> to make, but I love this movie. It also has to do with the fact that I love Bruce Willis, and I love Alan Rickman. I miss Alan Rickman so much. Such a brilliant actor. This movie just has so many fun quotes, so many moments that just raise the stakes, that make it so good. And honestly, I don't wanna talk for too much. I just wanna hop on into the movie. But real quick, before we do that, I just wanna say that, of course, this is the holiday season. By the time you guys are seeing this video, we are only a couple days from Christmas. And given that it's the holiday season, this is a great time of year to get into the giving spirit. And so I wanted to link this video to a fundraiser for Feeding America. Feeding America is a nonprofit organization that helps fill the pantries of families in need. Every dollar you give can provide at least 10 meals to families in need throughout the Feeding America network of food banks. I feel very blessed to have this platform just a couple years ago, I didn't have this YouTube channel, um, at least not in the same extent or size that I do now. And I feel very lucky that I'm at a point now where I feel like I can really give back more. And I definitely hope to do more fundraisers and charity events here on my channel in the future. I think it's really important and especially this time of year more so than any other, but I definitely plan on doing this more often throughout the course of 2022. And I'm really excited to be linking Feeding America to my YouTube channel. It's super easy to donate. You can donate down here if you're on mobile, there should be a little bar underneath this video. Or if you're on desktop, it should be to the right of this video. So just click over there, you can donate through YouTube. You don't even have to leave the page. YouTube makes it super easy to link charities to fundraisers here on their platform. So I think that that's really cool. My hope, is that we could hit 10K. I don't know if that's insane or not, but if all of you guys who watch this video donated $1, we'd well surpass that. So <laughs> my hope is 10K. I think that that would be really amazing, but I'm not sure. I've never done a fundraiser before, so I guess we'll see. Maybe I'm lowballing you guys. Maybe you guys are scoffing at that number. Maybe we've already surpassed it. If so, that would be absolutely incredible. Um, I really don't have too many expectations. I'm just excited to be giving back to a cool cause. And with all that being said, guys, I think I'm finally ready to hop on into this amazing movie and relive one of the best action movies of all time. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, he's a nervous flyer. Oh, I forgot about this guy, this guy on the plane talking to him. You want to know the secret to surviving air travel? Oh, doesn't he say take your shoes off? After you get where you're going, take off your shoes and your socks. Then you walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. Right. See, this movie is so good. Like, even from the beginning, we're setting up this thing that he's going to do, and it's going to raise the stakes for the entire movie. I love this movie! Sorry, if you guys haven't seen it and you're watching it with me for the first time, I'm probably going to spoil some things. I can't help it. It's okay, I'm a cop. Are you allowed to bring a gun on a plane as a cop? I would imagine no. Also, this was pre-9-11, so maybe you were back in the day. I mean, you were also allowed to smoke in the airport, so this is a very different time. We thank you one and all and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. You guys should all probably go home right now. <laughs> should get the f out of here when you can while you can. Oh, this guy, yes, Harry. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking more of 
Mold wine, a nice aged brie. I do like mold wine, but I don't like you, Harry. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Miss Janeiro. Do you think the baby can handle a little sip? That baby's ready to tend bar. Oh God. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I think they have said that like pregnant people can have like a glass of wine in their third trimester, but I think you got bigger problems with people smoking inside around you. There's Brucey. I forgot that they had kids. I really forgot they had kids. I did remember that they were going through a rough patch though in their marriage. Cause that again, raises the stakes and brings it all back to family, which is what the holiday season's all about. You know, being with the ones you love. Oh, the driver, yes. Oh God, I'm the limo driver. Nice bear. <laughs> I completely forgot about the driver. He's a funny character. A cassette tape. Ah! That's so funny, man. It's so funny how something as simple as a cassette tape being put into a car radio just dates the movie instantly, you know? I mean, this movie is great to watch. Like, I, I believe it'll still be great in 100 years, you know? But it's just interesting how something as little as that dates the movie. So if it doesn't work out, man, you got a place to stay? Oh, probably not. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna pull in the parking garage and I'll wait. Oh, right, he waits. I forgot he waits. I completely forgot. What a nice limo driver, he's nice. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. <laughs> it's very nice of him to sit around and wait. You don't, you don't see that kind of service nowadays. Oh, did she, is it not under McLean? Is it under her maiden name? Oh, she's in there under her maiden name. Oh, that just, that just hurt him. That hurt. Oh, poor Brucey. It's funny, this style of an office building even looks so dated now, but this was like modern and cool in the 80s. Hey, Merry Christmas. What the f What the f Who is that guy? California. Honestly, honestly, I would feel the same way. I, I sometimes I roll my eyes at stuff that happens here in California. It's a little too much for me, and I'm not even from New York City. I'm just from upstate. Oh, seeing the Gennaro must kill him. Well, that's... Doing coke, lovely. I was just making a call. And this was... Yeah, you're just making a call. Mm-hmm. You didn't even clean the table properly, dude. Are these policemen? He's a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. What a surprise, this is awkward. Aww. I was hoping you made that flight. You're gonna be really grateful he made that flight later, ma'am. Well, go on, show him, what are you, embarrassed? Oh, does she earn a watch? Is it a Rolex? Oh, it's a Rolex! <laughs> oh, ominous music, cue the villains. I wonder where this was filmed. It kind of looks like Santa Monica near LAX area, sort of, that could be wrong. Or even Wilshire, I don't know. Kids would love to have you at the house. Oh, yeah, they would. They would, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at his, look at, when Bruce smiles, he's like, look at his heart warming. Oh, 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 get the f out of here, Harry. Jesus, that is not work appropriate. Maybe you guys should go home. I guess you didn't miss my name though, huh? Oh God, why couldn't you just say I missed you too, dude? He couldn't have just taken the win. He's got to pick a fight. Be back in a few minutes. Mm, I don't think you will be back in a few minutes. <laughs> I have a feeling that this is where we're going to leave off the conversation for a little while. Great job. Yeah. Good job. Yep, good job. Very mature. Exactly, very mature. Look at that scar on his arm. I wonder if that was for the character or if he actually has that. I would guess that it's for the character, but it looks kind of real. Uh-oh, dude. Oh, you poor front desk worker. You're you're screwed. Now is your chance. Push the panic button. You see, it's a magic. Then back to worthy, right? Boom! Two points. I will say I do love how casual and cavalier they are about it, like, which makes sense. Like they're trying to distract him and not be suspicious and they're also professionals, but I just love it. I love that they come in like that and just so cold hearted, quick, like boom. Oh, bye dude, bye bye. I forgot how many of them there are. Hello, Alan. It's so funny how this guy like really does look like a swanky nerd, like all in tweed and wool and just, he looks like he could be a college professor, but he's working for like these terrorists. This holiday party is gonna be ruined. This is why you never go to the, the work holiday party. Just go home, it's not worth it. Oh, there he is taking off his shoes. Wardrobe for his character it must've been so easy. Just like, yeah, put him in a, a white tank top and pants, no shoes. <laughs> Cue the end of the party in three, two. Stand. Looking at the exit. He probably would have taken the exit if he wasn't so worried about Holly and then gone to get more backup, you know? But he's gotta rescue his wife. 
stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, Harry. <laughs> you will be witnesses. Oh, goody. I don't want to be a witness, Alan. I would like to go home. <laughs> it's a little scary when he's holding this little book like that. Nice suit. <laughs> John Phillips, London. I have two myself. <laughs> right. I forgot he's a connoisseur of suits. Even the staging of this is genius. Look at that guy in the back just chilling with his gun. He's the only one holding a weapon right now, like directly. They all look so chill. $140 million in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your vault. Ah. Money. Of course. It's always about money. Who said we were terrorists? Oh, are they just robbers? I Even I forgot that they weren't terrorists. They act like terrorists. <laughs> they have guns and weapons and holding people hostage. I guess robbers do that too, though. You'll never get it open. I told you. It's not over yet. Oh, is that what he said from the beginning? We'll never get it open? Interesting. Is it they have a bet? Shame to ruin it. Oh, he's bringing it back to the suit mm, as a threat. One. Yeah, I really don't want Alan Rickman counting me down <laughs> with a gun. It's very intimidating. Get on the jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. I'm telling you, you're just gonna have to kill me. Okay. Oh boy. Poor Mr. Takagi. Why the f didn't you stop him, John? Because then you'd be dead too, asshole. Yeah, exactly, John. You're only one man. He's kicking himself for not saving Mr. Takagi, but you couldn't have done anything. There were too many people. We've got a fire alarm. Well, we pulled the fire alarm to trigger help. Oh no, if only they would keep coming. It was a good idea, Bruce. They're just too advanced for you. The fire has been caught off, my friend. This guy is terrifying. He really looks like Jeffrey Dahmer. He just looks like a terrifying killer. What is with all these criminals wearing like these dorky looking turtlenecks and sweaters and things? I mean, I like them, don't get me wrong. I love a good sweater. I just think it's so interesting how they're all dressed like well, even kind of like nerdy. It's funny. Drop. Oh. It's the police. You won't hurt me. There are rules for policemen. That's what my captain keeps telling me. Ooh, that's gonna be a concussion. Oh, all the construction. Oh, there they go. He held on to that chokehold though, basically the entire time. It's pretty impressive. Did he kill him or just knock him out? Is he dead or just knocked out? Oh, he might be dead. He looks pretty dead. Holy <laughs> He died from that? Oh my goodness. What's he doing? Oh, right. He's gonna play a little game. I love how he takes this tactic of like threatening them. <laughs> Alas, your Mr. Takagi did not see it that way, so he won't be joining us for the rest of his life. What a funny way to mention, like, he's dead. He won't be joining us for the rest of his life. <laughs> we are in charge. Mm, I don't think you are anymore. I think there's a debate about who's in charge here. We have left nothing to chance. Mm-hmm. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho! Yes! He's got a sense of humor. Mayday, mayday. Anyone copying Channel 9? Terrorists have seized the Nakatomi building in our home. Uh-oh. Get off the roof, Bruce! This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Go f Lady, do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? Yeah. No, lady. <laughs> I forgot about that line. I love it. Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? Just send the police now. Yeah, gunfire, you dumbasses, because it's an emergency. See if there's a black and white that can do a drive-by. It's so interesting that even after the gunshots, she's like, oh, we'll just send one cop to do a drive-by. And it's this guy picking up all the, the pastries. They're for my wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, like, at this point, the gunfire is happening outside and it's machine gunfire. Like, other people would be, like, reporting it. Like, hey, we hear guns. Oh, God. What's, what's his tactic here? Oh, he's using the gun to hold him here? And do what? Oh, he fashioned a little harness? Okay. I mean, I don't know how long that's gonna go. If you lock him in, he'll be neutralized. Oh, he doesn't want to hear it. He wants to kill him. He's out for blood. Oh, he's trying to reach that. What the f***? He managed to catch him. Or catch the lip. That's insane. That is some uh, American Ninja Warrior s***. Oh, I remember this shot. Yeah. This is claustrophobic. Oh, the lighter. Oh, yeah. This shot is so great. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, the lighter gave him away. No. At least he wasn't moving around. He knew that they were close by. Oh God. And somehow they don't hit him. Look at him just sitting there. I love how his face is half lit by like the grate. That's so cool. 
Oh, oh, and you can tell he's aiming it well because of the shadow of the bars, like the grate, are on each end of the hole in the gun. That is so crazy. That little detail is like, shows what a good copy is. And he gives up right there. Woo! Oh, backup is here. <laughs> I can't believe this whole time the driver, Argyle, is still in the garage. Oh my God, your shirt was white when we started. It's brown! <laughs> His shirt was white when this movie started. We're not even an hour in and it's already brown. Ugh, that's disgusting. Might as well take it off, honestly. It's kind of gross. Oh, he just gave his location away. Woo! Oh, he almost got the chair through the window. Oh, the hell is this? There was a guy, oh, what an interesting shot. Like there was a guy right there ready to shoot him. Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. He's gonna take your advice right now. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> for the love. Is he gonna throw the, oh, I know what he's gonna do. I remember. 830, go ahead. Yeah, that's a wild goose chase over here. It's not a wild goose chase. Something's about to happen. Cue something falling from the window. Let it yep, smart. Smarter than throwing a chair, <laughs> throw a body, really hammer home the point. Welcome to the party, pal! Eee! Welcome to the party, pal. That's so funny. Ah! Argyle! <laughs> Argyle is so f***ing oblivious. Oh, Jesus. All of his pastries. Oh, God. Now they're taking it seriously. Finally! About time! Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki mother yeah! I love uh, yeah. <laughs> yippee ki yay His bag is missing. He had to detonate. The detonators. Ah, that's what it was. A very important bag. Ah, I see the plan is slowly falling apart. We must find the bag, Fritz. Yeah, the bag is the real problem that he got the bag. They got missiles, automatic weapons, and enough plastic explosives to orbit Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love this music. It's like jingle bells mixed with like horror music, you know? It's great. I hear you, partner. LA's finest are on it. Oh God, Ugh, it doesn't give me faith. I mean, I, this cop I like, you know, but the LAPD, mm. Powell, has it occurred to you he could be one of the terrorists pulling your chain? It's it's funny because it's like this guy's coming in like a hot shot and it's like he's wrong. But honestly, I probably would think the same thing. Like the guy was a terrorist, not a cop, you know? Oh, they brought her in here. Uh-oh. I have a request. Uh-oh, she's drawing attention to herself. Oh, no. We have a pregnant woman out there. So I would like permission to move her to one of the offices where there's a sofa. No, but I'll have a sofa brought out to you. Good enough? Good enough. That's very nice, considering you're planning on blowing up the building anyway. It will be done. Oh, she was looking at the photo. Oh, no. She drew attention to it. Oh, my God. See, this is how good the writing is. He's going to notice what she was looking at. But also, she put that photo down earlier. Gennaro. Gennaro, right. Oh, it's so great that she... Again, this is why the writing is so good. It's so good that she chose to use her maiden name. And now she can play like she's not married to him and keep John safer for a little longer. And also it's smart that she put the photo down. Like everything, every choice makes sense in this script. I love it. If there's hostages, how come nobody's come to us with ransom demands, huh? How about you ask family members of employees in the building if their relatives and loved ones have come home? It doesn't take that long to call a few houses and to figure out that there was a holiday party tonight at work. Like it's really not that hard to figure it out that there are hostages. My goodness, that's where I disagree. He's being dumb now, this FBI guy. They'll be coming. Everyone get ready. Oh boy, they're about to lose some people on the police force. Oh, this building really has a lot of reinforcements that are convenient for terrorists like robbers. Oh. oh my God, are you serious? He's complaining about getting pricked by a rose? You're about to go into a much worse situation, dude. Oh, there's a little candy co counter here. That's nice. Is he gonna get a candy bar? He's gonna take a candy bar? I would too, man. I would too. <laughs> What's he gonna do? The bear. Shut up. <laughs> I forgot how Argyle plays into this because I know he's got to do something or help at some point, but I like completely forget how, to be honest. <sighs> do 
was the night before Christmas. He's telling it through the story. It's not a creature was stirring except four cops. Four assholes coming in the rear in standard two by two cover formation. Look at how chill he is about it. He's like, uh, let me tell it in a Christmas story. See, this is why it's a Christmas movie. All these little moments like this, the ho ho ho, the Santa threat, all the Christmas music. Like this is a Christmas music, Chris bleh. Christmas movie. Oh, bye bye, cops. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast. This guy, he's so psychotic, this nerdy guy. He's crazy. Everyone is in rough shape. Oh, he's gonna use one of the detonators. Oh, I see. He's lucky that this guy just happened to be near the elevator shaft when he threw this off. Oh my god. Oh, that's. Oh my god. That's. That's bad. Bruce. Yeah, that's a lot worse than I thought too. Oh my God. Wouldn't that like just take the whole building down and maybe kill some hostages? Like Jesus, Bruce. Is the building on fire? No, but it's gonna need a paint job. Which is crazy that it's not. It's crazy that it hasn't just collapsed. It's not what I want, it's what I can give you. You can't give him anything, Harry. <laughs> he's like, no, he's not a threat. Just let it happen. Maybe you're pissed off at the camel jockeys. Maybe it's the Heaves, Northern Island. It's none of my business. None of my business. He has been doing this the whole time. Hans. Booby. Booby. Oh, God. Someone did a little too much cocaine. The guy upstairs is f***ing things up, huh? I can give him to you. No, you can't. He's such a loser. My God. He's such a schmuck. He's This guy, this actor is so good at playing a schmuck, though. I have someone who wants to talk to you. A very special friend. Oh, he's going to think that it's Holly, but it's not. It's this f***ing loser. No one gets out of here until these guys can talk to the L.A. police. and that Dude, just... you're a dummy. No one's going to get out of here. Their whole plan is that you don't get out of here. I want you to tell them what the detonators are. Oh, no. He can't do it for you. Yeah, they're going to kill you, dude. He can't tell them. Oh God, look at how confident he is. He's like, don't let them kill me, John. And John's like, well, you did this to yourself. Jesus Christ, Ellis, these people are gonna kill you. Tell them you don't know me. <laughs> John, how can you say that after all these years, huh? Wow, he's so stupid, this guy. Oh, you're about to die. Goodbye, Ellis, or Harry, whatever your name is. <laughs> he really did do that to himself, didn't he? He really did do that to himself. He ain't the brightest, uh. Bulb. Did you hear that? He just let the guy die, man. He just gave him up. Give me that headset. Well, yeah. Well, what? You want, to, want him to have the detonators and kill everybody? If he gave himself up, they'd both be dead oh, right now. No. Yes. I thought this guy, you know, was skeptical, but he's actually acting really dumb and naive now. Like, you're just making all the wrong decisions. You better be right, because it looks like this last one's gonna take a miracle. It's Christmas, Theo. It's the time of miracles. It's a Christmas movie i'm just saying yeah sorry the fbi is here oh oh right he's not the fbi why do i keep thinking he's the fbi he's just okay that makes a lot more sense he was just a deputy why did i i remember that the fbi got involved eventually i just forgot that he wasn't an fbi person that makes sense he was part of the lapd <laughs> that's why he was so bad <laughs> ah hi there ah Please, God, no, you're one of them, aren't you? Oh, he put on an American accent. Smart. There are all such good actors in this organization. Well, I was just trying to get up on the roof and see if I could signal for help, you know. His accent's not very good, though. It's funny. Come on, you want to stay alive, you stay with me. Uh-oh. This is so great. He fooled him. It's so, oh, it's so suspenseful. I love it. I forgot about this. He's inside. Who is he? Well, he might be a cop. I don't know. We're checking on that. Oh my One of God. yours? No, no way. Right. He's definitely, he's too good at his job and too efficient to be <laughs> a member of the LAPD. I'm sorry. I keep shading the LAPD guys. It's just, it's just like a joke how not good they are. <laughs> Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Oh no. He's going to open up to, no, no, John, no. He's a bad guy. I'm John McClane. Uh-huh. He just revealed it. Yep. Which I'm sure, I'm sure he probably knew that. Clay. Oh, is it a name on there? Smart. He's so fast thinking. <gasps> no, he's going to give him a gun. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to give him a gun. No. He's so trusting. No. Oh, God dang it. Shouldn't have done that. Put down the gun and give me my detonators. You got to be on TV with that accent. Oh, he is. <laughs> I wonder if he actually loaded the gun or not. 
Oh, we didn't load the gun. <gasps> it was a, oh, it was to see. Good, 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 good. Yeah. It's a shame that he couldn't have killed Hans when he did, but it was so much better that way for the story. Oh, he's realizing that he's gonna be trapped because he's barefoot. That's the issue with, see, it really raises the stakes that they cross each other's paths because he saw that he was barefoot. Oh, he's out. Oh my God, I can't even see him. How do you, how can you guys even see him? Oh, it's an exit, but you gotta run across the glass to get to it. That sucks. Did he take the detonators? He's gotta have the detonators, right? Smart car. Oh no. Ooh, the music. Carl's just pissed because he didn't get him. He's still alive. Yeah, she's relieved because she knows that that means... Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> exactly. That's funny. Oh, the blood. Oh, God, the blood. Oh, God. Now he's going to have to use his, like, filthy shirt to stop the bleeding. He's going to get a gnarly infection. You got flat feet? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, man? Something had to get you off the street. Oh, he's asking what got, what got him off the street. I had an accident. I shot a kid. Yeah, yeah. I remember this story. Anyway, I just couldn't bring myself to draw my gun on anybody again. Right. This is the, the B plot. I love this whole, like, second story with the cop and what he needs to overcome. Just adds a nice color to the story. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. Regular as clockwork. Or a time lock. Oh, so that will help them. If you ask for miracles, dear, I give you... A the miracle. F the FBI. Uh, uh, even his timing with that line is so good. The FBI. Their Christmas miracle. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good! <laughs> the music is just used so effectively in this movie. It just makes me so happy. We let them sweat for a while, then we give them helicopters. Mm, you just helped them, guys. Uh, they ain't looking to change the, the plan. You're, you're giving them exactly what they want. Damn right, fully armed. We're on the way. Oh, God. There's gonna be hostages, though. Didn't they say they're gonna put hostages with them in the helicopters? Oh, God. They got you right in the palm of your hand if, in their... What, what am I saying? <laughs> Listen, man, I'm starting to get a bad feeling up here. I want you to do something for me. Oh, he's going through his dark night of the soul. I want you to find my wife. Don't ask me how, by then you'll know how. Tell her that, um... Oh. That she's the best thing that ever happened to a bum like me. His performance here is so good. Yeah, I got it, John. But you can tell her that yourself. Exactly. Oh, are there bombs up there? All the detonators. Oh my God, and he dropped the one, so we saw what the power of one can do. That is gonna blow the whole building. The whole roof of the building uh oh, oh, it's Carl. I'm surprised that Carl hasn't just immediately blown his head off. You'd think he'd blow his head off right away. Maybe he wants to make him suffer. You know, your mom and dad are very important people. <gasps> They're very brave people. Uh oh, oh, this journalist. It's the journalist. Come home. Oh, and it's, no, no, it took him a long time. It actually took him a lot longer than I remember. Oh, it's the f journalist. No, he did it. God dang it. Look at that dramatic, oh, he got shot. Oh no. There's so many stylized dramatic shots. I like, or not even shots, just dramatic blocking. They're just dramatic, good old fashioned blocking. You're nothing but a common thing. Yep. I am an exceptional thief, Mrs. McLean. And since I'm moving up to kidnapping, you should be more polite. <laughs> I'm an exceptional thief. And since I'm escalating, you should be nicer. So many good lines. Oh my God. Oh God. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, wow. He thought fast. Oh, that is a rough way to go. He got him though. Get the oh God, he's got to shoot at them. No, he's not a terrorist. God, these guys are so, I mean, to be fair, they have no way of knowing that he's on their side. He did lose the radio and they're not communicating with him. This guy deserves a raise after all the work he's putting in here, even though it's not his city. What's he gonna do with the hose? Oh, he's gonna use it like a harness? Man, he loves using things as harnesses that aren't supposed to be harnesses.
Honestly, in that scenario, you'd be lucky if the fire hose still stayed attached to the building with explosives going off like that. He's very... Oh, I spoke too soon. He's gonna have to break more glass with his wounded feet. No. Hurry up. Oh, he's can use, he can use the gun. Come on. You're lucky that you came untethered. Oh, you didn't. Oh, just kidding. Uh, maybe untie yourself quickly. Hurry up, Brucey! Hurry up! Quick! Quickly now! Quickly now! Oh, Jesus, Lord Almighty. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I'm really shocked that, like, that didn't just, like, take down the whole building. But maybe because it's on the top. If, it, if that was all at the foundation and the bottom, it definitely would have. I think. I don't know. Oh, sprinklers. Good. Glad they work. What are you going to do? Sit here while the building falls down around your ears? Stay to me! Oh, you know what I just thought of? It's so funny. Her name is Holly. Like, Holly. Like, like the like the Christmas thing? Holly. Holly. I don't actually know. Is it a plant? I don't really know what Holly is. I just know that it's in Christmas songs. Look at him driving so slowly and quietly. Yeah! 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 Oh, good job, Argyle. Look at him, look at him. He's like, I'm all tough. <laughs> I love him. I knew he was going to come back around. I just couldn't remember exactly where. Oh, all the bonds. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, so cinematic. Oh, the reveal of her. Oh my God. So intense. I love it. You got me. No, he's got something else up his sleeve. I know he does. Yippee Kaye, mother. <laughs> Why is he laughing like a crazy person? What did he do? What did he do? Oh, they're all going to laugh. They're all going to laugh together. Has he got a weapon on the back of his head? Oh, oh, with the Christmas paper. He's smart. He's so smart. <laughs> yes! There he goes, but he's still holding on to her. Yes, I forgot. This moment is the best, man. Just trying to save Holly. Oh, it's the Rolex. It's the f***ing Rolex. He's holding on to her wrist. Ooh, he's so evil. Look at him. The disdain in his eyes. And he's still got a gun. It's the Rolex. Yes! See, every moment in this script matters. From the mentioning of the Rolex in the beginning and how she was like embarrassed to tell him and it was like annoying old Ellis talking about it. Oh, and this shot too is so cool with the music. Oh my God, it's just such a good villain death and like the fact that that's what does it, just taking off the Rolex. Oh, and it's like snow because it doesn't snow in LA. Look, all the paper. <laughs> Are these all the bonds or the paper? Whatever, it's paper. It looks like snow. No one can tell me this isn't a Christmas movie. <laughs> And they're together and that's all that matters, you know? Cause it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> you could also argue like the robbers were like making it all about money and material possessions. And like, that's why they didn't win. Cause it's Christmas and that's not what it's about this time of year. Oh, they're gonna have their moment. Oh, what a beautiful friendship. Is he gonna... Yes, this guy survived. He's crazy. Get him out. Come on. Yes. Yes! Who's at the end of that gun? Why, it's old Al, boy. Yeah! He's overcome his fear. Oh, so good. What are your feelings? Oh, she's punching him because, she, yeah, he made her life hell and probably scared the shit out of their kids. I love that. He deserved that. Did you get that? Yes, they got that. <laughs> this is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> I love this movie! <laughs> oh. I don't know if it's a little weird in hindsight to be pairing this movie with a charity fundraiser. I know that's probably a little strange given how violent this movie is, but I just knew that this is the movie that I want to do closest to Christmas. I also had a feeling that this movie view wise was going to do better than any other holiday movie we're doing this month. And so I just wanted to make sure that this fundraiser got as many views and eyes on it as possible. So that was kind of why I paired it up for this video. After watching it, it might be a little weird, but whatever. <laughs> I just love this movie. I think it has so many great stories and messages in it. I think the writing is just genius. Every moment in the script comes back around in a way that means something really important later on. The suspense just builds naturally the whole time in a perfect way, and in the end, it's all about coming together and being with the one you love and resolving your differences, being with your family. And then for, you know, the cop, for Al, it's about overcoming his fears 
and what's holding him back in life and moving on and doing the right thing. And he ends up saving the hero because of it. And it's so important. And it's really unexpected when you see this movie for the first time. You have you think that that guy is dead. So it's just so genius when they bring him back around for that moment to resolve Al's storyline too. It's so good. I love this movie. I think it's incredible. 10 out of 10. I, I still think it's probably my favorite action movie. Chef's Kiss. It's incredible. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this with me. But until the next one, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next. And subscribe if you want to. Until the next one, stay golden. Bye.